see what's new. Every time I come to Costco, it makes me want a new telly. There's nothing wrong with my telly, and I don't even watch it very much, but every time I see these, I want a new one. Or six new ones. One in every size for every room. One in the loo. <laughs> my telly's not remotely HD. My, t my telly's not even D, I don't think. So I think that's why I see these and love them. Look at these. They've got um, massive Easter bunnies in. What home would not be improved by living with one of those, eh? And they come in three colours, so you can have pink, blue, or there's a cream there as well. So, boys, girls, everything in between, everyone included. VTAC, however, VTEC plainly think blue is for boys, pink is for girls, as you can tell by the packaging. Girls, you do you. If you want a blue one, you have a bloody blue one. Boys, you have a pink one if you want. It doesn't matter. I must admit, I have considered getting a ninja foodie so these are like the next step up pressure cooker they're normally about 200 and in costco they are zoom in 129.99 plus that so 156 pounds but it does all three so it does pressure cooking air frying and a tender crisper which does both at once so you can do your chicken like you know you can do your chicken in the pressure cooker but it comes out flabby looking so if you do it in here you can get it and it comes out crisp Apparently they do all sorts of things, but I don't need it. I don't cook enough to need it. It's just a want, not a need. I think these are quite good. This is a pack of three kids' water bottles for £13. Where's the price? There's the price. £13.18, including that. And I think that's pretty cool to have the three in there. They're spill-proof, apparently. Look, spill-proof. So, um, of course, modern day kids always take their own water bottle to school, don't they? We didn't have, we weren't allowed water when I was at school. You basically went thirsty until playtime when you could have your warm milk that had been sitting by the radiator for three hours. Maggie Thatcher got rid of that for us, and to be honest, although everybody called her mad, what did they, they everybody called her Thatcher Thatcher Milk Snatcher. We were delighted. We didn't like warm milk, funnily enough. For your garden, you can get an almost Molly dog. It's not quite Molly because the nose is too round. Almost Molly dog. Or an Azumi biscuit cat from for, for, um, for Lex. Look, 14-inch cat statue. Those are 15 pounds 58, including that. I quite like those. They're sold separately, even though they put on here like a perfect pair. Dog and cat sold separately. Furniture in Costco, but if I'm honest, this one's not floating my boat. That looks cold and unwelcoming, doesn't it? The suedier one there. That looks more me. Or well, the corduroy one over there. Let's go and have a look at that. Yeah, see, this one I like. I really like that stud trim detail. That's really nice. And that looks comfy as well. I could imagine curling up in that corner seat and um, pretty much taking root there for an evening. That's really not a bad price. That's 659.98, including that. And it's two-piece, so you can get it into your house. Just about. Unless you live in my house. And then this one's 959.98, so that's just slightly bigger and has a footstool in it as well. I think I like the dark grey one better. I do want a new dining table, but this one's a bit monstrous for my house and it extends so it gets even bigger. So it comes with six chairs and I think it probably extends to sit eight if you've got an extra couple of chairs lurking somewhere because you've got those extending pieces there that would slot in. But yeah, I definitely I need something smaller than what I've currently got, not larger. It must be Costco's furniture event because we've got bathroom cabinets here as well. That's a 150 centimetre bathroom vanity with two basins. That wouldn't fit in my bathroom. I'd only get that in my bathroom if I got rid of the bath. <laughs> I'm loving this mirror. Love that. That's fantastic. Again, nowhere in my house. Oh, good Lord. It's not a very flattering mirror. I look fat in it. Mind you, if you can find me a mirror in which I don't look fat, I'll have six. One for every room. This is nice too. That mirror is only £71, by the way. So if you are in the market for a new mirror... It's, uh, it's standing on two pallets to give you some idea of size. That's a very big mirror. It's 178 centimetres by 76 centimetres. For 72 quid, including that, I think that's a bargain. And I like this too, but again, nowhere for it to go. Although I suppose it's a, it's a bar unit. I don't need a bar unit. I don't drink. I'm just looking at things and going, oh, that's nice. I like that. TV stand again, too big for my house. I have a small house. Just in case you haven't gathered that from my ramblings. I have a small house. Not sure. That's a bookcase, apparently. Surely all your books would fall off the back, wouldn't they? Is that just me being silly? Let's have a quick look at handbags, which I do not want and cannot afford. Well, I say do not want. I want them. I just cannot afford them. 
There's a very nice coach bag there, that's £239.98 and the one next to it is £179.96. Those are both coach, those first two. I'm sorry you're getting my reflection aren't you instead of the bags. I'm not so keen on the Michael Kors ones. It's Prada over there. Prada doesn't do it for me really. Quite happy with my Radley. And then we've got coffee machines. We've got a Tassimo, I can't work it. No idea why. Every time I make it, I just get half a cup of slop. I never get a decent cup of coffee. The Cuisinart Grill and Griddle, that looks good, doesn't it? We've got something similar to that. I think ours is from Lidl. And then they've got an instant pot. Now my pressure cooker is um, a Pressure King Pro, but the instant pot recipes you can just adapt and use the same. And this is the instant pot in Costco is 89.98 at the moment, so that's really not bad. I think that's probably a yeah 5.7 litre, so it's got a decent size for a family. Cuisinart Professional Glass Steamer. I've got a plastic steamer and it works absolutely fine. Something about Costco that just makes you buy stuff and what makes you want to buy stuff you've never thought of before. So this is a drawer organiser set, two piece. There's only one of the pieces, I believe, there. So, yeah, they've got one piece out on display and one piece not. £20.38. I don't have drawers. I have a cupboard with a pull-out thing for the cutlery, but I don't have drawers. What on earth would I want a drawer organiser set? And yet I'm tempted to buy that. I am tempted. Also really tempted by this, despite the fact that I very rarely grate or mandolin anything. In fact, the last time I mandolined anything, it was my thumb. I don't know if you can see the scar. There's a scar on the top of my thumb, and that's the last time I used a mandolin. But um, it doesn't stop me wanting. This one, you see, the KitchenAid. Three-in-one, chop and slice. I wonder if it has a stupidity guard. Special extra sharp cutlery blades for precise slicing. Strong and stable hinge provides maximum leverage while chopping dishwasher safe. It doesn't say idiot safe, does it? I think I need one that says idiot safe, but I'm tempted by that. Uh, they've taken the blades out of there, so that one's idiot proof because they've taken the blades out and probably put them away somewhere safe to keep them away from me. I might treat. That is £19.18. I know that that's quite a lot of money that you can buy these choppy boxes much cheaper but it's a good sturdy one and I might treat myself to that I think that's going in the trolley I think that's coming home with me going in my basket I'm not going to buy the rest of it though tempted by the grater but how often do you grate I'm going to chop instead of grate just had a little sneezing fit and people ran away from me I promise I'm not ill I've just tried to out my earrings again this is shocking I like these these are really pretty Triton drinkware set of 12 they're 1666 they are plastic tumblers and they come in two sizes look side by side so you can see them I really like those if you have a breakable house we have a very breakable house I think those are great they come in plain all the colored look so there's just clear ones if you if you don't want carnival colors but I really like the rainbow colors not buying them but I really like them these aren't new, they had these last time we were in, but they're so lovely that I always look at them. This is a massive serving stoneware bowl with two medium ones and, and three little ones. £23.86 for that, which I think is a really good price. It just makes me want to serve large portions of things to people. I want, you know, I want to have the kind of family that sits around a table serving each other out of a large bowl. I don't, I don't have that kind of family at all. <laughs> these are really good if you're trying to cut down on your plastic usage. So this is a glass lock food storage 20 piece set and it's 20 pounds and 2p with the vat so it's rubber lid rubber lids on glass bases i think again i think that's really good 20 pieces so you've got one large one medium and two small squares and two very small squares and then two round large round and two small round i'm trying to show you there we go and there they all are stacked up this is an addition oh no that yeah we go see I seem to have one more than I'm expecting there. One large. I don't think this one belongs. Or does it? It does. It's me being silly. One large, one medium, two small, two very small, two round, two round. It does belong. It's just me being daft. I really like that and I think that's really good value for £20. I don't know if I need it. Well, I, I probably do need it, but what I probably need to do first is clear out all the junk from that cupboard and start again afresh with nice new stuff because we've got thousands of lids that have no box and a couple of boxes that have no lids and so on and so forth so it's probably something that would be a good thing to do is get rid of all of that and start fresh but not today if you use a lot of stamps i think they're slightly cheaper here at costco um, each first class stamp works out at 65.8 pence 
I'm not sure how much stamps are, but I'll put it on the screen when I find out. Um, if you're watching for the US, this is absolutely of no use to you whatsoever, but if you are in the UK and you have a Costco card or you know someone who does and you use a lot of stamps, it might be worth you coming investing. Second class work out of 59.8 pence each, and the large letter stamps are a pound each. I don't know how much... you think I'd know large letter, but I really don't. I'll check it out when I get home. Office supplies as well, we've got bubble wrap. That's not a very large roll for six pounds. I buy a much bigger roll, much bigger roll online. But also if you want big cardboard boxes for moving, they have those here, look. That's 15 boxes for 21 pounds. That's cheaper than B&Q. When I was looking for some large boxes a few months ago, I went and looked at B&Q and that's definitely cheaper. They also have shipping scales. So for any of my reseller friends watching, if you're thinking of getting parcel scales, these go up to 400 pounds. I don't send any 400 pound parcels. That's 181 kilos. I don't sell anything that weighs 181 kilos because it would probably fall through the floor in my house. But that's a really good price. Those are 60 pounds. 60 pounds for those parcel scales, so that's good. I like this too. I love an organiser. Me, I won't use it and I won't buy it, but I really do love an organiser. Also, does anybody else really just want to own a till so that you can play at shops? I have an eBay shop. I do not need a till. But I really want to own a till so I can play at shops. For the organising people, this is quite a nice filing box. That has five colour-coded drawers. It's 23.98. We have files, and then for the for the stationery geeks, and I know you're out there because I just know you are. Moleskin notebooks, which are the best notebooks, and also moleskin volant journals, which you don't see very often. There's six in there for 17.98. Pack of six, seventeen ninety eight. That's a really good price for that. We've got the Babilis Professional Rose Quartz Hair Straighteners. Those are forty two pounds, just under forty two pound with the vat. Natalie's bought straighteners not long ago. I think she bought those ones actually. I wonder if they're any good. I'll ask her. She didn't get them here. Razors and shavers and all sorts of odd stuff. You go around a corner and you impotted plants. So these are fake, I think. Hang on. No, that's real earth. I think that's a real plant. That's a real plant. <laughs> that's fake. That says artificial on it. That gives it away, doesn't it? I quite like the artificial orchid. And the roses. They're, they're artificial as well. These are quite nice. These are um, on, on offer, look. These are £29.98. They're quite pretty. I do like the hydrangea. I'm hoping my hydrangea will have survived the winter. The hydrangea is also artificial and it is £47.96. I can't decide whether I like this lamp or not. I think the bit I didn't like about it, I've just realised, isn't part of the lamp because I was like, oh, I don't like these triangular pieces here and they're not part of the lamp, they're just stopping it falling off the, <laughs> falling off the plinth. They're just um, safety straps to keep it there. So I do like it a bit more now. <laughs> I have a pack of two soft as down snuggle down pillars they feel really really nice they're not feather in there but they feel really soft um they are medium support non-allergenic 250 thread count washable and they are 11 pound 98 including that that's really good for a pair of nice pillows that really is good and they feel lovely i wonder if they'd be comfortable to sleep on they've still got the body pillows in natalie and i have one of these each mine isn't this lovely color i wish it was and um, that would go really nicely in my bedroom we have one of those each. I use mine as a headboard. <laughs> I think Natalie actually uses hers as a body pillow, but I use mine as a headboard. I've mentioned these before, but I'm going to do it again. If you are in the market for a new blanket, you need to come to Costco. These are the ones you need to get, the Charisma ones. I'm not sure if that's exactly the same one as I had before. I think it is. I think mine just needs washing. <laughs> they are huge. They are only about £13. And they are the softest blankets known to man. These ones don't work so well for me because we have dogs and the back gets very bitty. But the, the ones that don't have the Sherpa back are definitely good. And these are lovely. These are definitely new in. They haven't had these before. I think that's an ombre. Yeah, it's an ombre pattern. That comes in several colours. There's blue, pink, or the silver grey. That's a really nice throw. Those are £10.78, including that for storage boxes they have a 102 litre size here these are 1078 and these are really really sturdy and stackable so 10 pounds 78 per box great for resellers providing they don't mind stacking stuff i really like this and have absolutely no use for it 
This is the Deflecto Stackable Storage Caddy. I do not need it, but I like it. I'm a sucker for anything that looks like I'll be organised if I own it. I won't be organised because I don't organise myself, but I'm a sucker for believing it. I'm a sucker for thinking it will organise me. I'm king of the world right now because I've climbed up on top of the pallets to get onto this bed. This is the Christina King size metal bed, which is 239.98. I don't need a better bed. But the Silent Night Eco Fusion mattress, which I am sitting on, which is really nice. The king size, I don't need a king size. I wonder if it comes in a double. The king size is 240, including the VAT, and it's a really nice mattress. I do need a new mattress. I didn't realise I did. And so I went out with mum the other week and sat down on a mattress in a showroom and went, oh, is this how beds are supposed to feel? <laughs> so yeah, this is a lovely mattress. It says, if you need delivery or more mattress options, you can shop online. So presumably they do have it in a double and I could buy it online. I'm bouncing. Can you see that I'm bouncing? Of course you can see that I'm bouncing. <laughs> I like it, I like it a lot. It's very bouncy. It's also the garden event at the moment, so uh, we've got all the potting compost in and things like that. Obviously it's just gearing up for the new season really. So potting compost and garden feed and tools, none of which interest me in the slightest because I want to have a nice garden but I don't want to be the one that does it. Then we've got loungers, now that does interest me. I bought myself a new lounger last year and now the weather's got out. I think that one might do nicely. That was 136.78, so that's a big treat item, isn't it? But they've also got the raffia ones with wheels. That's 154, so that's more money. And I think that one looks sturdier. But maybe I'm maybe I'm wrong. Let me just There we go. So that one's 155. That one is 137. That one's maybe a bit low for me. Perhaps I'd have to get Anthony to put it on, on a plinth so that I can get on and off. It's a sad state of affairs when you're not bendy. This, which I plainly do not have the money or the garden for, is a massive wood and aluminium gazebo and it's £1,500. And this is a fire pit table. And what's pleased me about it is that to illustrate the fire, they've put in little golden glass pebbles. Little things please me. I always admire these sheds when I come to Costco as well. These are... £120 off at the moment, so that comes in at £815.98. And I think... I think I could live in it. I'll take you in, hang on. Bring my handbag with us. Look at this. I'm now inside the shed. It's quite large. It's got a shelf for me, for me HDTV when I buy it. I really quite like it, and I think it's roomy enough for quite a lot of stock. I'm thinking of it for eBay stock. I think it's room enough for quite a lot of stock and it seems weatherproof as well it's it's um resin it's made of resin so yeah i quite like this also i could come and live in it and leave the children in the house couldn't i children haha -ha. 28 and 23 years old but yeah i like that 815.98 including that at the moment it's normally 959.98 if you are a lover of champagne which i am not you can currently get £33.50. For, for a moment there, I thought you'd get six for £33. I was going to buy it, even though I don't like it. One bottle of Veuve Picot is £33.58. And they have the Frisne, I've never heard sure if I'm pronouncing that correctly, £8.38 a bottle. That's the sparkling rose wine. I'm not really a champagne buff, as you can tell by the fact that I can't pronounce it. They've got Moet Chand one over there for £24.82. I can just about see the tops of those. I am a pancake buff, and this is very good pancake mix. So this is 6 69 for this huge bag. That's really, really nice pancake mix. They have maple syrup to go with it. Of course, it's going to be pancake day soon, isn't it? I'm not sure when, but... And Kirkland Signature Hazelnut Spread. That's two of those. Two, two one kilo jars, £5.59. Every year, I look at this garden table, and every year I say, one day I'll buy that table. It is not even that much money. It's 359.98 including the VAT. It's a really nice large square table. I like to be outside in the summer. We don't have a particularly glamorous garden. But then we don't eat particularly glamorous meals in it. But I like eating outside in the summer. And our current table is the most uncomfortable thing in the world ever. So this might be the year that I buy the the anchor fast eight seater wooden bench made in UK for 359.98 including that. This might be the year I save up and get myself one of these because it's lovely. It's really, really comfortable. 
It sits eight comfortably. I mean, I'm, I'm wide and yet there's room next to me for another person. So it comfortably sits eight. Not that there's ever eight of us to eat, but I really like it. This might be my year. Also, if you are a person who wishes I had a laundry segment in my vlogs, <laughs> you might be excited by the errors. So we've got a rotary area. Brabantia rotary area is £54. They also have a Black & Decker heated tower area, including the cover and wheels. That's eighty three ninety six. so that's cheaper than the Lake Lakeland ones that I was looking at. I just don't think I'd have anywhere to put it. It's quite big. They've got it up on a plinth, by the way. And then there is the standard kind of A-frame area with additional bit. Now, I can't see a price for that. Oh, it's, there it is. That's twenty three ninety eight. That's not bad, is it? That's the one I should probably get, but again, I don't know where I would put it in my house. But yeah, I, I would like to get something like that and stop using the tumble dryer so much. And a rather nice garden bench. That's £180, including the vat. That's a real sturdy bench, isn't it? I think that's pretty much it for the new stuff. We'll walk around the corner. I'm going to go and get my dog food, which is what I actually came in for. None of this stuff that I've looked at is what I came in for. But I have only got the chopper in the, in the trolley, so I've been quite restrained. I do quite often look at these and think they'd be good. These are the laundry baskets that fold down so they don't take up any space when you're not using them. The problem is we're always using them because Natalie never empties them and brings them back. So we have about six laundry baskets in our house and they're all in Natalie's room full of her clean clothes. <coughs> There's a vertical organiser with drawer there for your shoes. So it has a drawer at the bottom and then 12... 12 cubes for your shoes. Molly would have that over and destroyed in seconds. The Bird Rock Home Utility Baskets 2-pack, those are 15.58. They look like that. So they slide under a shelf. I had some of those once before. In fact, I've got one in the office now. They weren't, they weren't the same brand as these. Mine were a bit more flimsy. And they have a steam iron, but they do not have a hand steamer, which is what, something I would have bought. So, of course, it is Easter soon, and it, I must go for the eggs in. The ultimate fruit and nut with sharing bar. That's 9.58, and the Maltesers giant crunchy egg is 8.38. That's their always, always in chocolates. That's not new stuff there. There's a massive Kinder Maxi surprise egg, 16.78, including that. These are very sweet, if you want something instead of an egg. These are Belgian milk chocolate truffles in a little insect bucket. Anybody wants to buy me a crate of Cadbury's cream eggs, you know where I am. You can never have too many crates of Cadbury's cream eggs at £15.82, so don't buy me them, I was joking. They don't seem to have a lot of Easter egg stock in, I'm seeing their usual chocolate. A bag of Celebrations Easter Mix for 3 22 That's not eggs either. They're very limited Easter egg stock, but I thought I'd just tag them on at the end anyway so that you knew I'd spotted them. I think that's it. I hope you've enjoyed this quick look at what's new in Costco. And I'll uh, see you next time.